For the following exercises, which of the tables could represent a linear function? For each that could be linear, find a linear equation that models the data. All right, so remember, to have a linear function, the slope of that linear function must be constant. Okay, I wrote that down here. So it doesn't matter where on the line you are, right? Let, let's say you had a line like this. What's the slope between this point and this point? You might say, well, I can't figure that out, right? Because I didn't give you numbers. But it's about this steep, right? It, it's this steep. Well, that's not exactly the same. It's about that steep, correct? What's then the slope between this point and this point, meaning how steep is the hill? Well, it's about that steep. Isn't this steep the same as that steep? <laughs> so they're all the same steep. And I'm not even sure if I'm making English sense anymore, but that's what happens when you do a whole bunch of math videos. Um, anyway, it's the same, all right? So that's basically what we, what we mean. Um, when we're trying to identify whether a function is linear or not. So the way to do that here uh, through a table then, it's easy with a picture, but how about in a table? So what I basically have to do, if you've noticed in the picture, I was taking two points, right? I was trying to find the change between those two points. So I'm going to do the same thing here, all right? What I want to do is I want to basically create a couple of pairs here, all right? And I want to find the change between those pairs and then compare to the change in the y's. And if they're the same, then I know it's linear. So watch. The change between 2 and 4, meaning I had to add 2 to get to 4, right? Or in other words, the larger value, I, the final place, right, 4 minus 2, that's 2. In the second case, we also went up by 2, and in the third case, we also went up by 2. So I know my x is changing by 2 every time here. Now the y value better change by the same exact amount, okay? If these are all the same, 2, 2, 2, then these all have to be the same as well. They don't have to be 2, but they have to be 5, 5, 5, 10, 10, 10, 20 million, 20 million, 20 million. Okay, whatever, whatever the number is. So what's this change between negative 4 and 16? In other words, what's 16 minus a negative 4? That's 20, right? Or in other words, what did you have to add to 4 to get to 16? 20. How about now this way? That's also 20. How about this way? That's also 20. So this is perfect, okay? Because this means that we have a linear line. We have a constant slope, right? What I essentially found down here, I know this is f of x, but you can think of that as y. What I basically found was the change in y and the change in x, and I found that for each pair. And if I know the change in y versus the change in x, aka the slope, right? You know the slope formula be change in y over change in x. If I know that is constant, then I know it's a linear line. I mean, that by definition is what a linear line is. So the y change was 20, and then the x change was 2, so I know my slope is 10, all right? This is the slope. So let me just write this on over here, and it doesn't matter which one you calculate because they're obviously all going to be the same. So this is, where's the equal sign? There it is. So this is the slope, all right? So now let's just clean this table up a little bit, get rid of some of this mess, all right? And I'll leave this work on over here. All right, so now... <clears throat> We know what the slope is. We determined that the it is a linear function, and now they want us to know the linear equation. So what does it mean to find a linear equation? Well, you know the general form of the linear equation is y is equal to mx plus b. So what defines a linear equation is going to be the slope and the y-intercept. Those are the two things that define a linear line. So in order to write a linear equation, i got to know what the slope is, and i got to know what the y-intercept is. Now what we just did was we did find the slope, so we found one of the pieces, but now we gotta find the last missing piece. Okay, now remember, anytime you have an equation and you know three of the things and not the fourth, you can find the fourth. So they might be saying, well, that's great, I know what the slope is, but what the heck is y and what the heck is x? Well, what do these things represent up here? They represent a series of points. This is one point, this is another point, this is another point, and this is another point. Y and X in the formula just represent points on the line. That's it. Any point that's on that linear line, you can plug in to that formula. Okay? So what that means is I can, I'm free to choose any one I want here to plug in for X and Y. Just make sure you plug in X appropriately and Y appropriately, essentially. Remember, F of X is Y. So that's all I now need to do. So watch. If I were to now take, let's say, I don't know, this right, point, the Y value there is negative 4. That's going to be equal to the slope we found was 10 times, and the, that x value was 2 plus then my unknown, my y-intercept. 
So this basically works out to negative 4 is equal to 20 plus b. And if I had to subtract 20 on over to the left hand side now, what do we get? Well, we simply get now b, b is equal to negative 24. And now we have everything we need. We know the slope, we know the y-intercept, now we can write the equation for our linear line. And it becomes y is equal to the slope of 10 times x minus then the y-intercept of 24. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the answer. Okay? This is basically something you could plug into your calculator. That's another way to think about it. You know, I need to, the linear equation is something that I can actually plug into a calculator and find the linear line, right? If you plug this into the calculator, nothing's going to happen. Okay? Now, Pause the video if you like. Run through this as your practice example. I'm going to do it, all right? And check your answer. So the change here is going to be 2. The change here is going to be 4. And then, the, well, let me choose a different color, right? Just to color code it. So the change here is going to be 4. And the change here is going to be 2. So basically, I know that this change should equal this change. And that this change should be double that. And if it doesn't work out that way, something's wrong. You'll see, all right? So now, what is the change between these two? You can plug it into the calculator. You can say 6 plus what will get me 31? Or 31 minus, uh, you know, 31 minus 6 will get me what value? 25. Okay. Now, if that's 25, well, then we better expect to see this to be 50. But it looks a lot bigger than 50, right? What is this? What does this approximately work out to be? That looks like 75 to me, right? That's about 75. Hmm. Okay. And then how about now the last change here, right? How much does the last change? That looks like it works out to be 125 or so, right? So let, let me just double check that last one because my brain is getting a little, little tired at the moment. 231 minus 106. Yeah, 125. Okay. So now what I would do, I could already tell it's not going to be linear. But the way to check it now is to find the slope of each change, right? The change in y over the change in x. So I'll do the black one. This is going to be 25 over 2. Okay, that's going to be about 12 and a half. The second one, change in y over change in x, is going to be equal to now 75 over 4. Hmm. So can I reduce this down at all? Meaning does 2 go into 75? No, it doesn't. So you might be saying, well, how exactly do I know if these are the same? Well, remember, this is about 12 and a half. That one's easier to see. Right, this is about 12.5. Why don't you take 75 over 4 and plug it into the calculator? So 75 divided by 4 comes out to 18.75, right? 18.75. And you don't even need to continue. Once you realize that these are not the same number, it's not linear. Okay? So the answer is no. That's simple. Guys. Thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I hope this video helped. If it did help, help us out by hitting that subscribe button, telling your friends if they are also in a similar class. And we actually have a whole bunch of other videos out there. So um, check us out. All right. We appreciate it. Take care.